New York City's Stonewall Inn became a national monument today. On Daily Reports, it is a place of pride where blood and tears have been shed. In 1960s America, it was illegal to be homosexual. Police raids on gay bars were common. But on the night of June 28, 1969, gay residents of Greenwich Village decided they'd had enough. And they took a stand at the Stonewall Inn, fighting back against police. The violence led to days of protests, ultimately igniting the gay rights movement. It took 47 years, but the historical importance of what happened in this tiny Manhattan neighborhood has finally received federal recognition. And now I'm going to take you on a little journey back in time. 68-year-old Tommy Lanigan Schmidt spoke at today's monument unveiling. He was 21 when he took part in the riots in 69. It makes me very happy to be here, and, and, and uh, it mean, I think it means even more to newer generations because they have something through this to give them a sense of dignity. Five decades later, gays and lesbians can openly serve in the military and are free to marry and adopt children. But there are still challenges and dangers. Given the mass shooting in Orlando, New Yorker Scott Rogers says it still takes courage to be himself. We're not going to be subdued and scared and frightened on purpose. Nobody's going to make us feel frightened. Yesterday, thousands marched past Stonewall Inn and in cities all over the world in parades to honor those who stood up to persecution that night in 1969. Taking part, millions of people proud to be gay. And millions more proud to be accepting of those who are. Don Daler, CBS News, New York.